Over on Plateau State, the Environmental Protection and Sanitation Agency on Saturday demolished what is described as illegal structures within the Jos Bukuru metropolis. The exercise was carried out under the watchful eyes of a security tax force that was placed to prevent any breakdown of law and order. General Manager of the agency, Samuel Daripa, said residents and traders have been, had been warned and notified severally on the need to decongest the state for a healthy environment, expressing dismay with the level of compliance by residents. He said henceforth, government will not take it lightly with the falters. Chairman Joe South and Director General Plateau State Drug and Medical Commodities Management Agency during the exercise also advised residents to keep to the administration's drive to reposition the state. Junction down to uh, where we assess the flow. Uh, uh, just before the, uh, by Islamia Junction, you know, there was minimal compliance. Down to just South, what we saw in just South was, was in fact something else. Because with this kind of crowd, it shows that people are just adamant to break the law. And uh, going forward from next month, we would make necessary adjustments adjustments and plans to ensure that there's a watertight and a very co comprehensive planning of, a, of a total enforcement. But my observation for today is people don't want to respect law. And this law is for our own good, all of us. A law must be respected. Three hours in a day cannot re reduce anything from you. This sanitation starts from 7 to 10. If you stay from 7 to 10, you are free to pass. And we have a, 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 a flow passage. But some will come that they are paying 1,000 to move. It's not allowed to pay fine. If you pay fine, you must be there. You, they must keep you there to face the punishment. Dreams of lies. In early rains like this, is already a pointer to cholera and to some other forms of outbreaks. In fact, from what we saw when the demolitions were going on, you could actually see rodents actually escaping. So this even explains why Lassa fever is an issue to us and we are finding it very difficult to clear it. So, honestly, I want to encourage the generality of the public to particularly prioritize sanitation.